Hey guys, this is the Blackmagic Design Decklink Mini Monitor 4K and in this video I'm going to try to dumb things down like the way I learn about I.O. devices because things get pretty complicated real fast so I'll just focus on what you need to know about this I.O. device and whether it's worth it to get one. So this is an I.O. device. I.O. is short for input and output. The editing software will input a signal through this device and then it will output the signal into your monitor. So why do we need to output from this? Why not just use the HDMI ports on the GPU? Well, this device helps you to bypass the GPU so that you will get a true video signal feed or what we call a clean feed into your reference monitor clean as in without any interference in the signal this way you can get an accurate signal from your DaVinci Resolve directly into your reference monitor although through using this IO device you will have a clean signal into your monitor you still need to calibrate the monitor to accurately display the clean feed so without a calibrated display your reference display is still not accurate so that's my way of simplifying the things that you need to understand. But if you want to go deeper into this, I would suggest you have a look at Darren Mostyn's video on I.O. devices after you finish this video. So other than giving you a clean feed, the Deckling Mini Monitor 4K also gives you the capability to monitor in 10-bit color because most GPU maxes out at 8-bit. And the Deckling card also allows for more accurate monitoring in HDR. So besides DaVinci Resolve, it also works with other non-linear editing softwares like Premiere Pro and Final Cut. So now let me show you how I installed the Deckling card. Alright, so this is the Deckling Mini Monitor 4K and let's have a look at what it says at the back. Get broadcast quality SDI and HDMI video playback and monitoring from your PCIe computer in SD, HD and Ultra HD formats up to 4K 30 frames. Okay, and there's more features of this Deckling card at the back that you can pause and have a look. Okay, I'm not quite sure what this is, but it seems like a adapter for smaller PCIe slot, but I'm not quite sure what it is. But it's included inside, so I guess that's good. So let's unwrap. First, let's go through the cards, and there's a welcome card. So sadly, there's no free software that comes with this Deckling card, and you can download the Deckling software from their website. And I get stickers as well. And there's a card to download DaVinci software, but sadly, no license. Alright, so let's unwrap the card now. Attention, observe precaution while handling electrostatic sensitive devices. And there you go, this is the Deckling Mini Monitor 4K card. There's a fan, so I have a HDMI out and also a SDI out port and then I'm gonna insert this into my PC in order to use it. So if you're someone like me that haven't opened up a PC before, you have to ensure that your PC has a PCIe slot that is accessible, that is empty, so that you can insert the Deckling card. So what you should do is just remove the cage on the outside and then insert the Deckling card into the PCIe slot which is right there. And you can see that the fan is actually facing downwards so this is the proper way of installing it. Yeah, it took me a bit of time to actually slot it in because I'm, I, I don't really want to break the card so I'm very careful with it. But it takes about, I don't know, 5 minutes to actually put it in and you just screw back the screw and you're done. So once you have the deck link installed, you have to download the driver from Blackmagic Design's website. And I'm going to go into support and search for deck link mini monitor 4K. And this is their driver, it's called the desktop video and you have it in Mac and also Windows version. So I'm just going to install it and open it up. So you see that you have quite a bit of monitoring formats that you can choose from. But I'm going to set it for UHD which is 2160 in 25 frames per second. Also note that UHD is different from 4K which is in a DCI aspect ratio. 
And for video playback, I'm going to set it to display black's output when not playing so that I know when I'm on the timeline and when I'm not. But you can also set it at freeze frame if you're only using that monitor as a reference display. And for conversion, I'm not going to do anything, so I'm just going to hit save. And another issue that I found out when I'm monitoring with the deck link is that you see that this reference monitor is it's more zoom in than the actual timeline. So I tried to find some solutions online, but there are no clear answers. So I played around with things and this is what I found out. You have to go into your timeline and then go into timeline settings and set your monitor to whatever aspect ratio you want, which is uh, UHD right now. So once I set it, then it's going to go into the real full display. So if that happens to you, you have to go and check your timeline settings. Now what I want to do is test whether the Decklink card has any effect on the output which is my calibrated monitor. I compared the output from the Decklink Mini Monitor 4K and also using the Clean Feed option in DaVinci Resolve and also directly from the GPU. And these are the results. I know that you might not be able to clearly see the difference because you're only viewing what my camera can capture so you have to trust me on this one personally i don't see much of a difference except when it comes to contrast the 10 bit output also doesn't really give much of a difference as i would expect like i said take this feedback with a grain of salt because i admit i'm not the best when it comes to technicalities but from what i see on the surface there's not much of a difference but I do appreciate the weight that the Decklink card is taking off my GPU to render a full screen playback. So is this Decklink Mini Monitor 4K worth it? Well, that depends on who you ask. If you are just an editor who exports for social media and web, I don't think you would need one. It's better to invest your money in a good calibrated monitor. But if you're a colorist by profession and clients actually pay you to have an accurate and consistent color for their videos, so I think the Decklink is a relatively small investment to get a cleaner, uninterrupted signal for your reference monitor. It's more of an assurance to me and the more assurance that you can provide, the more confidence that you have in your work. So that's about everything that I learned through this whole process. I was pretty lost before this, so I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, let me know with the thumbs and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.